The basis of a free economy is mutually beneficial free exchange. That is to say, trade and exchange relations between people that make both parties better off. Relations of this kind can only take place on a voluntary basis. They can't take place on the basis of power or force or fraud. This kind of relationship creates very powerful incentives for people to find new ways of doing things, new kind of products and services to create, uh, new ways of reducing costs and doing things more efficiently. That is why an economy based upon free exchange is always much more innovative, much better at creating wealth than a different kind of economy. Moreover, for an economy of this kind to work, it's not necessary for the people who are engaging in these exchange relationships to share all kinds of beliefs or even to like each other very much. All that is necessary is that certain institutional frameworks are in place. The two most important of these are, first of all, a system of property rights which guarantees to people rights to rightfully acquired property and goods of one kind or another. The second is a system of clearly understood rules which govern the settlement of disputes, a legal system in other words. Of those two, it's probably the property rights which are the more important basic institution. If you do not have property rights, then free exchange and all of the benefits that it brings becomes almost impossible which is why there is no more certain way of destroying a free society than to undermine the institution of private property. To download a free copy of Foundations of a Free Society written by the Adam Smith Institute's Dr Eamon Butler, visit our website at iea.org.uk.